Well, I looked at the weather forecast for tomorrow and Tuesday. Rain! So I figure the sun's a shining. I'll get the 756 out and do some dirt turning. Let's go, let's grow. Well, I fished around a little bit and realized my problem isn't as bad yet as it's going to get if I don't tear into it and tear it apart. But today what I want to do is I'm going to add about a gallon, I'm just below a gallon low on this hydraulic fluid and hook the 311 plows up to this and go test it. Go test the ground out, see how wet or dry or somewhere in between we are. And uh, let's also talk about... and conjure up some ideas of how your wheel setting should be running a mold board plow and let's go with three or four bottom all right before we attempt to turn some dirt let's talk about this setup a little bit we got a 1968 gas model international farm all 756 not weighted in the front yet um dylan i'll probably be down this week uh, to get that bracket and a couple of discs and I don't know I'm still interested in that that spool off that bearing that John Deere bearing That'll be a whole nother video. I'm going off on a tangent here real bad. I digress So I'm gonna have weight for the front and I'm gonna need it because I'm not gonna be sticking To these plows. Oh look there Plowed some corn stalks last year and still still earned my keep you don't want that because it's right up there in the in the reset spot so anyways there we go um this is a 311 314 plow now before anybody gets carried away and says a bunch of stupid stuff that everyone else already knows this isn't big enough for this horsepower i get that okay that's not what this video is about this video is just about really setting a fast hitch three or four bottom plow up on a tractor like this now when i first got this track to look at that there you go item number 325 at the wtc auction that's where i got these about two years ago but they're 18 434s they are correct for this tractor when i first got this tractor it had 16 nines on it now that's that's different than 18 4 they're different they're not the same i was able to pull this 314 and keep that drive wheel right in furrow no problem so it's going to be a 14 inch furrow and now i got an 18 4 wheel or tire that it needs to fit in so this is what i always figured plowing okay 314s every one pass and i am flopping 42 inches of dirt over okay now what I always did was I always come over here and got my tape measure out and would come to about the center of the tractor. Let's call that the center right there. I'm about 25 inches, 20, about 24 and a half inches out, okay? Now, in my opinion, to set this up perfectly, I need to move those in about two inches because you want them, I think you want the inside edge of this wheel, this tire, 21 inches out to be perfectly aligned. Now, having said that, I'm over horse powered. So I'm not gonna have to worry about, like if this was an M pulling a three bottom and it wasn't set right, riding that left brake to make sure I stay over this way because it's sucking me this way. I'm not gonna have to worry about that. I'm over horsepower. This is about 85 horsepower tractor pulling three bottoms. The question today is, can I keep that 18.4 in a 14 inch furrow and give up what I'm considering at least a good two to three inches off the center of the tractor to the inside of the tire? So I don't know, let's go, let's grow. The growing's just about to go because we're probably Oh, I'm three weeks away from planting corn, probably another 
another month from planting beans. I like my ground 60 degrees at 9 a.m. And uh, yeah, we're probably a month a month away from that. But I shot grease into the into into the trail wheel and into the colder. So it's about as good as it's going to get. And let's see what we got, man. Now, a lot of you know on the Super C and the 200, I'm speaking of those tractors because I have one of them. It has the Hydro Touch system, and what that does with the leveling link and the, I guess, telescopic rod is you get leveled this way and this way. So you can pretty much see I'm not very level, so I need to drop this side down here or bring this side up. Um, it's funny because if you look, that's drawn out about the same amount as that. Just a hair different, probably an inch. And that inch, inch and a half that I drop it will make a lot of difference in terms of leveling the top of that plow. Okay, so that's an up and back. So I definitely got it adjusted correctly, at least for first passes. Come and flipped it in here, flipped it in here. Um, this little section I always do separately and I figure I'm about right in the middle there. Um, at the end there, I know some smart Alex is gonna say some, oh, well you curved a little. Yeah, there's a wet corner up there. So I had to, just to go around it. But you can see what the ground looks like right now. And uh, I don't know, is that, Oh, probably, probably eight to ten inches deep in terms of uh, the furrow itself. Now, the question's going to be, how do I ride through here with the 18 fours? Yeah, she polished up and back, got her done. Now, there's nothing special about these. I mean, it doesn't have the trash boards, cover boards, or anything like that. It's it's missing this on here and. Uh, it doesn't matter to me really because I'm steering away from from uh, a three bottom. I got my eye set on a four bottom fast hitch and something else I don't want to mention because somebody else might jump on it before I get to talk to the old feller. So regulators mount up. All right, so in furrow we'll go low four direct drive. That should do it. And we're going to dive her down here in a minute.
just as can be. Spit shine, military style. Yeah, after you're all done with the season, you should put grease on those. Old grease, new grease, whatever. Keep from rusting out. Set them on a pallet, a couple pallets. Keep them up off the ground. But uh, tell me in the comments section what you guys do as far as setting your drives according to your plow. Or I should say used to. I think I'm the only one mold boarding anymore. <laughs> it's too fun to quit. If it's too fun to quit, you must not uh, quit. Remember the Super C? We didn't quit that either. Baby!